All right, I have selected four treats. Some of them I have some sort of idea. Others I have no clue what they are. So these I know for sure. There's some sort of shortbread cookie with a cream filling. These I'm assuming are some type of rice cracker. I'm assuming these are some sort of candy, some sort of fruity candy. Maybe it could be cherry blossom or like peach, I'm not sure. And this is one I have no clue. It shows a fish here, so it could be salty, could be sweet, I'm not really sure. But, there's only one way to find out. I'm just going to start off with these rice crackers. So it comes on this little twist tie. And then there's another package right here. Ooh, they smell interesting. Whoa, that's weird. Smells sort of like wasabi. A little bit, I don't know, maybe. It sort of, it sort of smells like that mix. Rice cracker mix that like, can have like wasabi peas in it sometimes. And like a whole bunch of other rice crackers. But it looks like some sort of red chili rice cracker. I'm just going to give one of these a try. It has a little bit of seaweed on it too. Let's try this. Wow, not sure if these are old or something. I mean, they taste really good though. It has like sort of like a soy flavor. They're a little spicy. And they're pretty good, but I can't really bite through it. It's really hard. I think it's just something you have to suck on, but it tastes really good. I think that's really interesting. I guess I'm gonna start with our sweet now. So our cookies, I'm sure these will be delicious. That was very interesting though, it was an interesting experience. Oh wow, nice, they're individually packaged. There we go, you can see a little bit of cream on the inside. If you zoom in real close there. But it's a little hard to see. I mean, you get the idea though, it's just some white cream, sort of like an Oreo. This is really good. If you have ever seen any of my booksu videos, um, you can just check it out. There's a playlist of booksu videos. So booksu is just sort of like a Japanese box of treats you get every month. And it's a subscription. And you get all sorts of different cookies. And this one really reminds me of one of them. It has a nice buttery shortbread with a really creamy and sweet cream center. And it's very good. And it definitely reminds me of something that you get out of the booksu. I have to say it's very good. Now, I'm just curious to try this candy. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I mean, it's wrapped so many times, so. Hmm. Now, oh, that smells weird. But good weird. Oh. It smells like cherry. Wow, I sure hope it's cherry. I love anything cherry flavored. Big fan. Could be cherry blossom. I'm also a big fan of that. I'm just gonna taste this. It tastes like wild cherry. You know, I'm gonna think this is really weird, but you know like the wild cherry hand soap that you might get at a bathroom sometimes? And it has that strong cherry scent. This is exactly what it reminds me of. But I just love that. I really enjoy anything cherry flavored. I mean, it does taste quite artificial though. I mean, it looks sort of natural though. So I think it is a natural candy. But dang, that's really delicious. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Now this. I'm not sure how this is going to be. Might be good, might be bad. I think it'll be good though. It's very interesting though. Because it has a fish on the front. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Oh, that's really weird. It, it doesn't smell so nice. Sort of smells like flour, maybe? Cornstarch? I think it might be like a rice candy? Rice cookie? Not sure. Here it is. It's very dry. It has a powder on it. Sort of like mochi. 
you've ever had that before, it's just a sweet rice cake. But I'm just gonna try this. Well, then again, with another hard candy that's not really something you can chew on. I just have to say from what it tastes, it tastes like sort of just like a sweet rice cracker covered in maybe a little bit of powdered sugar. It's quite nice though. Quite delicious. Wow. Time to rate all these things. Wow. Some of them impressed me, some of them were quite interesting. Starting off with this rice cracker. I have to give it a 7 out of 10. It had a nice, delicious taste, but I cannot really say much more than that because I can't really eat it. It's rock hard, but it tastes quite nice. Same for this candy, I guess, candy cookie rice cracker. <laughs> give it a 7 out of 10. Can't really rate it properly because I obviously can't eat it. I can only suck on it, but it's quite nice. We have our cookie. This definitely get, deserves a 10 out of 10. Really delicious, crumbly cookie. Right here, half eaten. It's quite delicious, so I have to give that a 10 out of 10. Definitely deserves that. Our little individual cherry candies. Wow, these are something, aren't they? I have to give this a 10 out of 10. Really delicious wild cherry flavor, and I'm a big fan of that. So. I think these four things were all very nice, and I really appreciate the nice gesture, because my aunt delivered this to me from Japan. Alert! Extra info! Many of you, I'm sure, have seen these little plastic food items in front of Japanese restaurants here in the U.S., and a lot of them are made in Gujo Hachiman, and... They're used to advertise the restaurant's food dishes, and they make a lot of different plastic foods, and they're made individually for each and every restaurant. And we have a whole bunch of little items here, and you can see some of them look really realistic, and some of them not so much, but all of them here look very real. And I mean, I think that this orange looks very realistic. Like, you could almost use it as an April Fool's prank and prank someone into eating this. So you can see all the little individual membrane. And it's very detailed. And I think that's quite cool. And we have this ice cream here. So yeah, many of these plastic foods are well known throughout Japan. And they're very popular.